your name, where are you from, and why are you here today? Uh, my name's Kyle. I'm from, I'm from San Diego, and I'm here to pass out these cards. Uh, I work for Bubba Gump. So, yeah. So, did Bubba Gump Shrimp Company make you wear that hat? Uh, yeah, they said we need to wear a hat. I mean, not just this one, but uh, they made me wear uh, any hat. Or not any hat, but just as long as the Bubba Gump hat. But they give you this one with the military theme yeah. just for standing out on the street? Yeah, <laughs> basically, yeah. So does, does the Bubba Gump Shrimp Company have like have a thing going with the military? Uh, I honestly can't answer that. I honestly don't know. Like a, go, a thing like what do you, as far as like... Well, like with the NFL, you know, the, the military pays millions of dollars for them to do, uh, you know, the opening ceremonies before the games with the military and like they have kickbacks and honestly, stuff like that. I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. But it's funny because you're not in the military. No, Does it feel weird like you're wearing a military when you haven't been in the military? I mean, not really because, I mean, my dad served in the military. My parents served in the military, so I guess it's kind of like supporting them. So. But you didn't join. No, I didn't. No. So you're capable of learning from the mistakes of others, right? Well, why not? Um, I just, it hasn't, I haven't really thought about, you're asking if, like, why haven't I joined? I just, it hasn't, I just, I feel like it's something to fall back on. Me, personally, I, I don't want to join the military right now because I feel like I can do something more with my life, you know? Rather than just follow orders yeah, and go along with the program. Yeah, basically, it, yeah, yeah being under somebody else no matter what you know I, w I want to be my own boss you know and so this job is a better leg up for you than the military not not saying that this is more like a stepping stone you know to get to get where I want to be in life you know it's just I got to have some type of income coming in right now but. and on this income you pay taxes right uh, yes so how do you feel about your taxes going to subsidize a monstrosity of a military I mean, this is where I'm going to get you in trouble with your dad, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's all right. I don't have nothing against it. I don't have anything against it. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't want to pay for it? You don't want to join it? And you, I mean, you, I, I, I would pay for it, yeah, to help out, yeah, to help the country and everything. It's, uh, I mean, I just, I don't think about joining it right now, no. Do you think having a military helps the country? Yeah. So the founders of this country were wrong when they said we shouldn't have a standing army? I'm sorry, ask that again? So, you know, the founders of this country, the, yeah. the, the, the mostly men who yeah. stood up to Britain and said, we're not going to be part of your empire anymore, they were explicitly against having a standing army because they said that a military defends a government and the government's ability to rule and exploit and take advantage of people and that the only legitimate defense would be a militia, the yeah. free people coming together under freedom. Yeah, um... I mean, personally, I can't, I can't answer that because my dad, my parents served in the military, so I can't really be against, you know, like what they, what they did and everything. I'm kind of, I, I just always been support, I always supported them. Now, I don't want to put you on the spot anymore for any of these, yeah. these specific things, but I want to ask just one last question then. Yeah. Do you see how this is like a huge impediment to human change and progress if we just say, well, I can't disagree with my parents. I can't yeah. do something different. I have because I they mean, did I it. Could, I could do something different. I could do something different, but like, uh, well, you already are doing yeah, something I different. Mean, yeah. You already are saying yeah. I'm going to do yeah, better than that. Yeah. I'm going to have something better for myself. Yeah. But I hope also you can be thinking about this in terms of for society in general yeah. that we don't <clears throat> we don't have to support the military just because exactly. our parents were in it, yeah, just because exactly. our friends were yeah. in it, just because it's, it's always been that way. I mean, I gotta. I'm. I mean, I, I I could live my own life. You know, I don't gotta exactly follow in all their footsteps. You know, like. I mean, like, you know, of course they're a big motivation for me, but it's just, I don't, like, I mean, the military is not for everybody. Awesome. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions including DTube, and you can find that through steamit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your post and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at thefreedomline.com and we'll share it on my feed.